Well, hi, everyone. Pastor Jane here with our daily Lenten devotion. I know it hasn't been daily. It's been a while since I've been on. I was at a conference the first part of the week in Dubuque, a wonderful conference, a rural ministry conference, a lot of lot of good speakers and uh, just a good time of fellowship with colleagues. And uh, But it was also good to get back. Yesterday, we had our Wednesday Lent, Lenten evening service and uh, a wonderful supper. Uh, so it's it's all good. Other than I miss you. I haven't been on for a while. So today I want to reflect on something, simply my thoughts, <laughs> instead of a, a devotion that I'm reading. I was thinking about something as I was driving, you know, you get a little car time and, and uh, I, li I was listening to a podcast and this verse came up that I'm going to read from uh, uh, the prophet Zechariah. And it really, it just really hit me. And um, so let's, let's read that first. And it's Zechariah chapter four, verse six. Uh, this particular verse I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version updated edition. He said to me, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. That the bold part I, I put in intentionally. Um, yeah, I was driving along and I was kind of stressed out about getting back and thinking about things and um, just all kinds of stress coming up. Nothing nothing terrible, just the normal stress of, of having kind of a, a busy time right now. and. Um, and I know that we all experience that and, you know, certain things going on that I was a little bit worried about. And uh, do you ever do this? Um, I was thinking about some things and in my mind, you know, instead of just worrying about what's going on or what's happening or what's, I started worrying about what's going to happen. And not only that, I started picturing, you know, I had the whole, the whole thing pictured out before you know anything has happened and it probably <laughs> won't even happen uh, and then I also had my feelings and my response and everything to the way I pictured it was going to happen so it's like all this stuff made up and I was worrying about absolutely nothing that I can control and while I was kind of worrying about that this podcast came on and this verse they they lifted up and I thought wow do I need that right now? Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. It's God. It's all God. God's got this. God is with us. God is with me every bit of the way. And, um, you know, I got to thinking as I was looking this up, the prophet Zechariah was getting all kinds of signs about um, things that, that he should say or do and getting them from, well, actually from an angel of the Lord was speaking to him. And this is what this angel says to him about, it was actually about rebuilding the temple in Jerusalem. And, um, you know, obviously he's stressed out about it. You know, how am I going to do this? Who am I going to talk to? This is a big project. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't think I can. And the Lord comes to him and says, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. This is another version of it that I love. And I think it even describes it a little bit better. This is um, the New, Inter New International Reader's Version. So he said to me, a message from the Lord came to Zerubbabel. The Lord said, your strength, your strength will not get my temple rebuilt. Your power, your power, your power will not do it either. Only the power of my spirit will do it. Oh. That hit me strong. It was like it was just echoing in my in my brain as they were speaking that on on my pot my podcast. And the funny thing is, you know, Zero, Zero, uh, not Zerubbabel, but um, Zechariah was all about, you know, getting these signs from this angel and everything. So I got to tell you what happened 
right during that podcast, and I was just contemplating all this. So I looked down at my odometer. I love signs. I love little signs that say, God is here. And one of them is the number one. You ever, you look at that 1111 and think, yeah, I need to just stop and and think about um, God is sending me a sign right now. This is what showed up on my odometer just as I was listening to this. One, 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 one. Yes, God was definitely speaking to me there. Um, I quick took a picture. I didn't even know if I would get it because I was watching the road and I just kind of, you know, pushed the button hoping I would get something. So not only does that come up, about five minutes later, I'm still thinking about this and contemplating it and just truly feeling the presence of the Lord. And I look at my clock. 11, 11. Oh, you guys, I was, I almost had to pull over. I it was just, I was just astounded. So, you know, I, I'm going to end with this. I can't, but God can. So whatever you're facing, whatever, you know, healing you need, whatever answers you need, whatever struggles you're having right now, whatever worries um, that you're kind of doing like I do and just, you know, predicting what's going to happen and how you're going to react and everything and it's all going to be terrible. Remember that, not by my power, not by my might, but by the Lord's, the Holy Spirit will take care of everything. I can't, but God can. So have a great day. I hope you take that with you in whatever you're stressing out about today. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Be blessed.